Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 52 of Lightroom Quick Tips. This will be a short episode. I'm going to give you some tips on working with the film strip in Lightroom. Now, if you're not familiar, the film strip are the row of images that are at the bottom of Lightroom. And you might know that you could make it go away by clicking this little triangle way down here at the bottom, and you could make the film strip disappear. Click on that triangle again, and it will reappear. Now, you may not know you could change the size of the film strip. If you bring the cursor up slowly towards the middle of or towards the top of the film strip, you'll see it turns into this double arrow. Then you could just click with your mouse button. You could drag it bigger or you could drag it smaller. And we're going to leave it relatively big. It'll make it easier for me to show you some other things about the film strip. Now, as you look at any of the images in the film strip, you can see some of the um, information about that specific image. For example, this image here is flagged. You can see the flag. It has a rating. It also is part of a stack. It's image one of two. Also down here, you see these three badges. This means that it has keywords. This one means that it's cropped. And this one means that it has develop adjustments. Now also when I hover over the image or I hover over any of the badges, you'll see a tooltip pops up. Now you could control all this stuff and to do that you would right click on any of the images in the film strip and at the very bottom of this menu are view options. And you can see the first one that is checked is show badges. Now if I uncheck that, the badges are gone. Now we'll turn that back on and you can see that one of the options right below that is ignore clicks on badges and that is right now we're in the develop module if I click on this keyword badge it'll bring me to the library module and it will allow me to enter more keywords if I click on the crop badge it'll bring me to the develop module and open up the crop tool and if I click of course on the develop module badge it just brings me to the develop module so that is uh, a behavior that you could alter. Again, right click, go down to view options, and you would turn on ignore clicks on badges. Now below that is show ratings and picks, and as you can see I have, it's a pick and it has a rating, you could turn that off as well. Below that is show stack counts, image one or two of a stack, you could turn that off. Then show image info tooltips, that was when you hover over the image, and it will give you that tooltip that pops up. You could turn that off if you don't like that. And finally, at the bottom is Show Photos in Navigator on Mouse Over. Now, the Navigator window is on the left-hand panel, and it's right here. And you could open and close that right there. So there's your Navigator window. And if I just hover over any of these images in the film strip, it will appear in the Navigator window, just like that. There you go. So that is how you could really set up the film strip so it behaves exactly as you want it to. I know a lot of photographers, they don't like the badges to be clickable because they'll often be clicking around in the, um, in the film strip and they accidentally click on those badges and it's annoying if you're in the develop module and all of a sudden it brings you to the keyword section of the library module. You might not want that. So they turn that off. So again, I mentioned that this is a very short episode. I hope that helps you set up the film strip exactly as you like it for yourself in Lightroom. Now I'm going to make mine just a little smaller because it's a little big. And that's that. So that's it. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.